Moving to Long Island and the race to replace Nassau County Executive Ed Mangano, who is now under indictment. And this one, it is too close to call, still too early to call it. Only 42% of the precincts reporting. And there you see Republican Jack Martins leading this one 53 to 47 over Laura Curran. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff live at Martins headquarters in Westbury tonight. Carolyn. Uh, well, hello there. The numbers have been very slow to come in, and that's why the mood here at Republican headquarters is very reserved, but with some growing optimism as the first numbers that come in uh, appear to give Jack Martins uh, quite a bit of an edge. He has yet to make an appearance here this evening, and it could still be a late night. The question is whether or not his promise of experience and ethics reform will resonate uh, with corruption-weary Residents. This is the party of Ed Mangano, who is leaving office amid corruption charges. Martins has tried very hard to separate himself from that. In fact, it's his proposal on the ballot today uh, to strip ele corrupt elected officials of their pensions. He's promoted uh, ethics reform. He wants to bring in a gang czar to Nassau County. And all of his reforms, says his leader of his party, Party should get him elected, but it's still a horse race. I compared the numbers to 2013 and 2015, both of which were off-year elections, and these numbers fall kind of right in the middle. So I'll be as surprised as you are when we get the results. 